Welcome, headbangers and monsters. Welcome to the podcast, Into the Pit, where I, Eli Stevens, uh, I, Eli Stevens, take a look at bands that you may know or never uh, know or heard be- be- before. To, 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 to today is a band that near and dear to my heart. They sold over 10,000 albums. Sold out arenas, arenas, and and be my favorite band of all time. I'm talking about the one and only Metallica, former 1981, Los Angeles, California, by drummer Lars Ulrich and with them and uh, with them guitarist and vocal James Hetfield. Metallica is well known as the uh, godfather of thrash and speed metal, and many Metallica fans say that. The last, the last good album was Injustice for All. True, but remember, but 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 we, we remember the Black album released in 1991 sold over over one point ten billion copies worldwide and it was almost certified diamond by the R by by the um, RIAA. No other band and no other artists in that genre can top. What success Metallica did? Which Metallica did? Did and and as we know, and you know the uh, drill. Many people, many people, many, people, many people, you don't know, know know the drill. Know know the uh, drill. What happened? Long story short, Metallica released Low and We Love, which was which was not good. It was garbage. Jason Newstead quit quit the band. Metallica released a few cover albums with Jason, along with a um, with a, and also a live album recorded by the San Francisco um, um, orchestra. Then then doing the whole Napster the debacle when when um, Law and James decided to sue the company for. For then we release an unfinished version of the song I Disappear for the 2001 Tom Hanks Mission Impossible um, movie. Then Jason and James start butting heads over Jason Project. Echo Brain that Jason said, said, I don't need you guys no more. I'm done. I'm done. you done. Let's see how well you can do without me. Me. And then that caused James to go into rehab for alcohol and drug um, abuse. It be led into some led into the uh, 2007 documentary, some kind of, of um, um, a monster. Then in 2008, with the help of Bob Walk, they released their next studio album, Saint Anger, released in 2008. They're trying trying to defend, trying to defend garbage, trying trying to trying to defend a, a, a bowl of um, pea soup. It's, it look it looks good on the outside, but on the inside it's it's bad. And due to laws law literally having the snare off the whole entire bloody album, and also on zero solos by. Kurt Hammond himself, Robert, Robert Torrio from Suicide Tendency and Ozzy Osbourne was hired hired by the band, but he was not he was unable to record on the album. And many people think that while Torrio's first album was Saint Anger, actually it was that's my net released a year after in 2009. Bob Walk provided all of the bass lines. On the studio version, and while played the bass lines live during the album's pu- pu- um, pu- pu- um, promotion. Now you know the, the history of the band. Now you know the the history of the um, band. Let's see what see what I see what recommendations I can give you to start. Okay, start off. I recommend you start off with with um, with the Black Album. Many people say start with Master Puppet. I said that that that. Album for Metallica fan, main by Metallica for Metallica fan. If you're just starting to get into Metallica, I recommend you start off with either Death Magnetic or the Black Album, mainly because they're easier to get in, into, and easier to listen to, um, easier to listen to um, riffs. 
And thanks to the Metallica fan base, we have really high quality bootlegs and DVD box sets. My favorite live concert period was Seattle 89 when they were promoting Injustice for All in 1989 in Seattle, Washington. In Seattle, Washington. And thanks to Metallica going fan, but thanks to the Black Album Remaster back in June, back back, back in um, back a couple of days back, fans who never heard people never heard of the band and want to get into them again can finally relive one of my favorite Metallica albums of all time next to Not the Puppet. They need no no introduction. Seriously, the albums the album really kicked so much butt. But and also death by neck. Now people, say, even though the sound quality is bad, it is still a pretty good good album in my opinion. I hope you enjoy episode. Ep I hope you enjoy the first episode of my podcast of Into the Pit. Next time I'll tell. You, next time, next episode, I will tell you about Metallica's bitter rival. Bitter rival. Bit of rival, mega death. Thank you and walk on.